What's up campers, glampers, crampers, and overlanders? Today we are in Paso Picacho campground and there's snow on the ground. We had a big storm come in Tuesday. It is now Friday and uh, there's still snow on the ground everywhere. So it was pretty cold last night. It got down to like high 30s or low 30s, maybe even dipped into high 20s. Um, so today is the perfect time to review. We are allowed to have fires at this state park campground. So what we did is we brought our Takibi from Snow Peak, rather than using the fire pits that they already have here, because um, this thing is awesome and it has a bunch of benefits. First and foremost, as you can see, this thing is portable. So when we are like overlanding or at a place where there's no fire pit amenities and they are allowed to have fires, such as the desert, we do bring this and it works perfectly as a fire pit and a grill. Um, there's one accessory that I'll show you that works really well for the grill, but let's get into this thing. Um, on the outside, it has this little mesh pocket that we keep you know, our tong the little tongs holder in. There's a mesh pocket. This is really thick canvas, so it's really durable, real nice. It's not gonna rip. It has these two handles, and it has two Velcro straps to keep it secure and closed that just strap on like regular latches. Everything's really heavy duty. Keep it nice and tight in there. Um, this is not a backpacker's fire grill slash fire pit. If you're car camping or even like backyard camping, this is gonna be for you. It comes in, I think, around 34 pounds. So it's relatively heavy. You definitely don't wanna be carrying this uh, super far. But if you do have a car, you can put it in or even using it at home. This thing is like awesome for like a makeshift little fire pit in the backyard. This thing is great. Uh, so let's get into it. Um, it folds completely flat too. So it fits a lot of places, as you can see. You can t toss it in the car, you know, flat or put it up against something and it, uh, it's very, very stowable. So I'm gonna put this on the side right here and get into it. So what it comes with, this kit comes with the base plate, which is real nice. At first I was like, what's the point of this? But it actually does have a lot of um, uses once you get in, once you start using the fire pit. It comes with the actual fire pit, which is like folded. Snow Peak's a Japanese company, so they're really, you know, like the origami-ness, the very portableness, the usability and convenience and storability is really on point with this grill. So it basically opens up butterflies and then it sits in on the base. And this base has a couple different purposes. So if you're, even if you're camping in the desert, a lot of times anywhere, you shouldn't really, I mean, you can and people do, at least here in California, because we get a lot of use in these parks and areas. If you're digging a hole and putting your rocks around it like a traditional fire pit, like back in the day, if everybody does that, what happens is there's pits everywhere and then it just kind of like looks not as good. All the pits are everywhere and you're not really supposed to have a ground fire. So this raises it above and keeps this, the base keeps it from burning the ground below. Even if ashes do fall through these holes because it is a little vented so air can come through. But what this is also really good for is if you wanna move this fire pit, it's really easy. You just basically, you can pick it up. I've done it with the fire in it. This base usually stays cold and you can move it around. You can start the fire, I mean, on the table if you want and move it to the floor. Or last night we had our awning set up and it kind of started to like mini snow, like little snow frizzle flakes. So we just like scooted it towards the awning and that was really convenient. So this is a basic setup. You can just throw a fire in here and use it like that. But if you're getting ready to grill, it does come with This is the first part, so this is also flat. It's foldable, it's pretty dirty because we've used it a lot. And what you do is you unfold these. And as you can see, there's these notches right here. And so you can put your firewood or whatever's in there and you can raise the level of it so it's farther from the... Got a little wind here. So it's farther from the pit or you can lower it and it's lower to the pit and you can go all the way down to basically be right on the pit. And obviously 
you can put this on here if you're like planning to grill with it later. And then it does come with this grate. I believe this is all stainless that just throws on right here. And there's your cooking surface. And like I said, you can raise it up. Obviously this stuff will be pretty hot when you're uh, um, actually using it. So if you do plan on throwing this on like this and starting a fire inside, I recommend we have some um, like heat proof gloves that really come in handy for moving around and working with fire and put that on there. And then you can grill, good to go. And once you're done grilling, take this off. You can take this off as well and it'll back, be back to a fire pit. But what I bought, if you're planning to just grill with it or grill first with it, is this cast iron grate that goes inside. And what it does, it's just, it breathes. This is also from Snow Peak. This is also pretty heavy. So you're probably looking at another, you know, five to six pounds. So this is close to a 40 pound setup. So definitely want to be in a car, but it sits right in there. And what that does, there's holes in it. So it raises your charcoal and it'll aerate it, you know, so there's air flowing in there. And then when you put this on, this makes a really good grill once you have embers or charcoal on here. But we're going to be using it just the fire pit. So let's get a fire in here and then we'll talk about some of the benefits of using this over using one of the amenities or fire pits that already come standard at most campgrounds. So now that we got this fire going, if you look into how to make a fire, um, check out that video, I'll link to, do the link in the description. It's called How to Not Start a Campfire and it's pretty comical. But now that this thing is going, um, some of the features that we really like is it's portable. As you can see, you can move it around. So if it's raining, if you need to bring it under an awning, it's pretty easy. You can pick it up, you know, always just be careful, obviously. What's cool about this is if you're sitting around the fire, you can also kind of put your feet under it. You know, and it makes it, we can keep your feet warm as opposed to a regular camp ring that's usually here. They don't put off too much heat at the bottom. So this really maximizes your heat with the uh, availability to put your feet under and just have your hands on it. Um, it is vented, there's holes around. So it really, once you get the fire going, it stays pretty well. All the embers go to the bottom as they fall. So that also keeps your fire, fire fueled as you add more wood, all the embers will be at the bottom. Um, another thing, this is really good. The base keeps it still, like I said, if embers do fall, you're not going to leave a hole at the bottom. Um, one of the other big pros is sometimes people are really irresponsible with campfires. A lot of times they put all kinds of stuff in their fire, beer cans. I've even seen like paint cans, who knows what they're burning in there. And if you're the next person to use that fire, you have all that stuff kind of in your smoke and you're inhaling that. So with this, you know exactly what you're putting in and it's nice to, you know, be able to know what's in your fire, especially if you're cooking on it. So that's basically this uh, Snow Peaks Takibi in a nutshell. Um, it is pretty pricey. I think it comes in around $300 and then you do have to buy, like I said, that charcoal grilling part which is I think like another 40 bucks, but I think it's really worth it, especially if you're overlanding and going to places where they don't have a campfire ready for you. This is probably the most responsible way to do it. And we'll pick up after we enjoy this fire tonight with the cleanup of it, which is also extremely easy. So last night we enjoyed this Takibi and it was really nice to keep your feet like right under here. I didn't bring my boots. I have these just like trail runners. So they were breathing a lot and like there was like, you know, the mesh on top made it really cold. So this was awesome. Now this morning, we're going to clean up a little bit. We got some of the embers that were that kind of flaked around everywhere. And it's as easy as this with this thing. Now that it's cool, the next this is the next morning. There's no hot coals in there. We just take it up, bring it over to the fire pit, dump it out and it folds up. I like to give it a couple, get that dust out of there. And then drop it into our bag. And that's as easy as cleanup is. We will get the footprint. So this does catch some of the ash that fell through the, the holes and cracks in there or where the metals meet. And that's that. I'll strap it up. We'll throw it in the car and be ready to go. I'll put the link to the Kibi in the description, or you can pick them up at Amazon, I believe. They're around the same price either way. See you guys next time.